Hello everyone, I hope you guys are doing well. Thanks for tuning into your reading. So today's reading, we're going to look at your future love partner. Okay, so we're gonna pull different cards, get some initials and maybe some charms at the end. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna look into the type of relationship it's gonna be like, what kind of actions this person is likely to take, what their feelings are likely going to be about you, where it's headed. Uh, as well as, you know, whatever traits we can pick up in terms of their looks, personality, things like that, okay? So, just trying to find something for you guys to choose from. You know, you can always choose from the thumbnail with the flowers on it, the timestamps. Whatever resonates with you, whatever catches your eye, you know, you can always choose a different group if the first group that you choose doesn't resonate. So, um, since I'm not being drawn to a particular deck to have you choose from or a particular crystal, we're just going to jump right in with group one. So again, pause the video if you need more time. Uh, check out the timestamp linked down below. And go ahead and choose your group from there, okay? That's what I'm being guided to do. So, welcome group one. Thanks for tuning into your reading. Let's get into it. We're gonna pull one card to show your person of interest, like the person that's coming in for you, your next romantic partner. So show us group one's next romantic partner. For my group ones, who will their next romantic partner be? Oh, that one fell out. Okay, cool. But the three of pentacles. So this could be an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or somebody with it strong in their chart. This could be somebody that um, you work with, go to school with, or have some other common cause with, like a practical connection. Practical as in a home connection, work connection, money connection. And um, this person is likely to be very skilled. It's probably somebody that appears very focused, very dedicated and they probably take a very hands-on approach to things. This could be somebody that you work very well with or end up working with. Um, they're, in terms of like how they look, they just look very practical, um, very professional. Maybe they, you know, whatever they wear signifies whatever they do. So like, for example, just example, if they're a construction worker, then you're gonna see them wearing a construction hat. If they're a, a businessman, then they're going to be wearing a suit and tie. You know, if they're a cook, they're, if they're a chef, they're going to be wearing an apron. Like, there's something about the way that they look, work boots or, you know, nice shoes, depending on whatever they do, right? That's how they're going to look. That's how they're going to dress. So, this person just, it looks, they feel like, it feels like they they feel sturdy, they feel capable, they have a hands-on approach. They could even like work with their hands, skilled labor, or um, even if they have a, an, an office job, they like to work in the garden or do something you know, with their hands. So this is somebody that's very seriously committed to their work. And the kind of work that they probably do is something where they work with others. They could be in architecture, in architecture, an architect. They could be in the arts, but they would um, also have like a scientific mind as well. Like I'm thinking Leonardo da Vinci kind of thing. He was very artistic, very talented in how he, how he draw, <laughs> how he drawed, how he drew. Leonardo da Vinci was very talented, and but also scientific in how he drew. He studied the human body. He took a very scientific approach, and he applied that to, to his artistic talents and developed, like, well, obviously, uh, very impressive skills because we still know who he is to this day, and he was around what in the 1500s, 1600s. So he was exceptional and I feel like this person has something exceptional about them you know they have skills this person could like I said they could have you know uh, Taurus Virgo or Capricorn strong in their chart but they have some qualities like reliability um, maybe you know and just kind of like very efficient you know I guess is what I'm getting very technical um, they could just work with like complex projects, things like that. They have a deep understanding of whatever they do at work. Um, and they just work things through very systematically until it's done, until it's complete. And so this person's gonna be inspiring to you. They're gonna be inspirational. Their, their dedication and their skill is gonna be inspiring. This person is going to encourage teamwork. So if you are an outlier or somebody is a loner or likes to be off on the sidelines on your own or something like that, this person's gonna draw you in and have you working as part of their team. 
um, they just really inspire that in people. So regardless, they inspire that in people. So their presence is just kind of like, you know, a reminder to value hard work um, and teamwork, okay? And expertise, because that's, that's what they value and you can't help, it's kind of like rubs off on you, okay? So uh, I think I talked about what this person's likely to look like physically speaking, very practical, um, sturdy, some of them have broad shoulders. Um, if they're a man, they're probably tall or at least they're sturdy. Um, they look muscular, they look built, you know, even, you know, that's just how they look. They can be stocky. Um, same thing if they're a woman. If, in the, if they're short or something, broad shoulders, they could have that swimmer's physique or um, that dancer's physique or they just look sturdy. Even if they're a thin person, they're strong, okay? And um, I'm just getting very hands-on too. So they could work in like um, massage therapy, physical therapy, things like that. But I feel like they work with their hands. They could work out. Um, outdoors, like I said, gardening, things of that nature. And this person is just like emotionally, this person prefers like a commitment and they, they do have high standards emotionally speaking. They want a relationship where it's cooperative, where everybody works as a team, they appreciate each other and they feel like, you know, people are putting in the same effort and that they have a common goal to work towards. So this person really feels like common goals are very important to a relationship. So it's not a terribly romantic energy that's coming through right now. We'll see what else comes out. But this person does have a very strong sense of responsibility and, pro and pride in whatever they do. So if they're doing a relationship with you, since this is your next romantic partner, and they will be, they're going to take pride in that, you know, and they're going to have a lot invested. So it's success is going to be important to this person. However that, you know, comes about, whatever that looks like. So they do want to learn. They're going to want to learn and want to grow. And they, they expect to come out like a wiser person, um, come out of this relationship as a wiser person than what they went in. Because that's just their nature, you know. They want to learn. They want to learn about you. This is not somebody that's going to turn a blind eye to your character or who you are. Generally speaking, this person is going to study you the way that they study everything that they're interested in learning about. And they can't help but grow from that because whenever we study or learn about something, we grow from it. So this person's gonna grow from the relationship with you. Let's get some more about this person since that came out. That kind of just fell out. Judgment, so they could have strong Scorpio in their chart as well, be a very trans transformational person. I think this person has a lot of irons in the fire, but they're gonna make time for you. This person is going to be passionate towards you with the Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So it lets us know that even if they might not have been the most romantic or, or somebody that follows their passions or that maybe they've just been very busy with work or something like that, they've got a lot going on. When it comes to this connection, they're going to change, they're going to be different. When it comes to this connection, they're going to be more passionate. The Judgment card is actually a passionate card, but it's about coming to terms with your passion. And it's kind of like you know, um, beginning again, you know? So that's what it feels like. Like this person is completing some sort of cycle. Maybe they're hanging up their, their hat, you know, with whatever's keeping them busy. They're putting that aside so that they can um, make time for you. They're gonna put effort, and I'm saying this person is busy. Like I just keep getting how busy this person is, how much they've got going on. They're juggling different things. Um, they work very hard. They might not have the most money, but they work very hard for the money they have, and they are go like they are putting in that steady, consistent effort. They might have, they might have a good amount of money. I don't know, but I'm just saying their energy is that of somebody that's just always kind of working and balancing, and it has to do with the practical aspects of life. So this person feels very authoritative. They're very, they feel very wise. Okay, and. Um, this is the type of person that, again, they're going to inspire you to like change your life. And what I was saying before I pulled that card was that this person is somebody that uh, learns. And as they learn, they grow. And so this person is going to grow a lot through this relationship. And um, this person could come in like a wrecking ball. <laughs> Maybe not quite that, you know, unexpectedly or dramatically but this is a dramatic card the judgment card so you could maybe not see this coming or you know this person if this sounds like somebody that you know there's transformation happens like all of a sudden or unexpectedly or it's been happening gradually for a long time but you just didn't notice or maybe this person finally makes a decision that makes all the difference and 
but it does feel like this person you know looks back on their life and their actions and they learn from that and I think that's you know an inspiring kind of thing you know so um, but I just get that this person they could work in law enforcement or be like the leader at their job whatever that is an entrepreneur or something like that because this person does have like a penetrating gaze they have an upright posture they seem like they're very knowledgeable very confident um, they feel very purposeful very serious you know when we think of like some of the earth signs like Capricorn in particular and Scorpio as well um, we think of like a seriousness to them so this just shows that this person like they take themselves kind of seriously and emotionally they are um, you know pretty serious about their emotions as well they're insight they're insightful they're decisive this is not a wishy-washy energy if they were like that before they're not like that anymore because they're starting something new here with themselves. Like this is energetically how they are, they're transformative. So they have kind of this deep understanding of human nature um, and the consequences of their actions. So it could be, they could have like learned the hard way, the school of hard knocks, but either way, or they've seen it around them and they have taken those lessons to heart. So they um, do challenge others to be honest with themselves. So if you are somebody that maybe doesn't like to, uh, I don't wanna say don't like to tell the truth, uh, who would admit to that but if you were someone that likes to obfuscate or um, hide the truth or you know I don't know if you're just not as forthcoming this person will command the truth yeah, and um, they will command that of themselves and they'll command that of you okay so that's just the kind of person this this is also the kind of person that's like a mirror to other people and they just help so they the kind of person that people either love them or they hate them because this person is a mirror to other people and other people project on this person and they see themselves in this person and they either like what they see or they don't and that's not a reflection of this person it's a reflection of that of the person who's projecting on them and what they don't like about themselves or their unhealed their unhealed wounds so maybe you won't like this person right away but this person's here to be a catalyst to help people grow and to help people change and this is a very insightful person so does feel like this person um, is a decision maker at their job and they are very good at like looking at the whole picture assessing a situation and then coming to a decision about it and understanding things on a deeper level that other people don't really understand it so this is a good person to have around if you're going through big changes because this could happen you could meet this person when you're going through pivotal you know changes in your life and this person would help you to navigate those waters like the ship captain to help you like navigate through and um, so it's a good person to have around in such times like that so um, you're definitely gonna get a wake-up call from this person learn from this person have many aha moments from being with this person they're gonna be a very powerful like motivator for you to reach your full potential and it just it's very catalytic I guess is the word that comes to mind to help you move forward on your life purpose okay so this is definitely somebody you know that you're meant to um, you're meant to meet you know that you're aligning with energetically or and to put it in a you know easier way I guess you could say just like meant meant to meet this person you're being drawn to this person and they're being drawn to you for a reason and those are some of the reasons that this person is being drawn to you and guys are being drawn together So I just want to see what kind of actions this person takes or how they're going to take, what kind of action they're going to take towards you or just what they do like activity wise. I think this person worries a lot about, about their work and about the burden of moving things forward in life. Yeah, we've got the Knight of Pentacles and we've got the Two of Wands and we've got the King of Swords. Um, at the bottom of the deck and so this person's always planning they're always thinking about you know kind of they're unsettled they could be judgmental towards themselves sometimes like they haven't reached enough done enough like they're they're far reaching it does this person has a stable energy to them and they are a visionary type person but they're also a slow moving type person slow and steady wins the race with that knight of Pentacles and I think this person does kind of get in their own head like a bit too much when it comes to their future and what they're doing and what they see for themselves and like the plans that they have. They could get some analysis paralysis, but the good thing is, is this person's always moving forward even if it's just step by step, little steps, baby steps. 
So when it just comes to this person, you know, if they're patient, they're diligent, again, it just comes down to being hardworking and uh, committed. And so this is the type of person that would give you the shirt off their back. So um, what some people might call boring, other people would call like a, a catch. And in general, this person is a catch, but you have to be ready for them. They show up when you're ready for them because of all this transformative energy. But they're very dedicated, they're consistent, they're willing to see things through to the end. But they do feel anxious about things. They do get anxiety, okay? They're a very passionate person though. Let's just kind of see, you know, how this person is going to feel about you when you meet them. Wow, this is cute. The Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck. They're going to feel like it's a whole new world, right? That's what they're going to feel like. You know, even if this is somebody from the past or someone, you know, that you've known before, I think it's definitely going to feel like um, somebody that you've known before. This person's going to feel like they've known you before. But it's going to feel like leaving the past behind, leaving all past baggage behind, and moving forward. And it's a whole new world with the Six of Wands, right? So that's how this person's going to feel. Like um, you just make them want to move forward in their life. And and you make them feel let go, like ready to let go of their past. And since they're coming across in this um, judgment energy, then it says that you're, you're a catalyst for this person as well. Like you're going to be a catalyst for each other. And this person's going to feel like, you know, um, leaving the past behind. And, you know, they do have some history here. And I did kind of mention that. And they've just come to the realization that in order for them to move forward, you know, they need to let the let go of the past and invest in their future. So um, that's what this person's going to be um, feeling like doing, and it's because of you. So you could be this person. You could be this way as well. Like this person's going to feel this way about you. Like you're you've had baggage in the past, but you're willing to leave that behind and invest in your future. But we know that this person with the two of wands is looking to invest in their future too. And so. Um, they just want to leave the past behind them let bygones be bygones that, that kind of thing they've accepted the lessons that they've learned from previous relationships and other situations and um, and they just want to start over they want to start new they want to start fresh okay so what is a message for the viewers about this person that's a big message from spirit We've got the Five of Swords. So this could be somebody that, you know, has hurt your heart before, or this is somebody that is coming in with something of a broken heart, okay? But I am seeing some history there here, so this is probably for those of you who know who, know who this person is, and you'll know if it's, if it's the case. If this is your reading and it resonates, then you'll know who this person is. And so... I'm getting that when they talk about leaving the past behind, they're talking about leaving behind this energy of suppression, manipulation, toxic behavior, or even if it was just like a mean, nasty fight that you had with this person or that they had with other people in their past. And um, it feels like in relationships in the past, this person would treat people like their adversary or they would be treated like an adversary instead of a teammate. But we see this person's in three of pentacles energy. So this is not who they are. I mean, this five of swords is not who they are. It's not who, who they are anymore. So if this person is still this way and you know that this, you know who this is and you don't feel like they've changed, you're not seeing real world evidence of that, then, you know, consider it a bad, a bad fit and move on. But I do feel like this is more to do with what this person has experienced, maybe what you both experienced. But this person, again, is moving on from this energy, whatever this is for them, general reading. So, yeah, they're moving on from this energy. Misery loves company and all of that. But this person truly does not see that, you know, love and partnership should not include, like, misery or people being against each other or anything like that. Anything like that. Like, they might have made the mistake of thinking that for um, a relationship to feel more passionate and real, that it had to be heartbreaking. But they've learned a valuable lesson about that. And this could all be subconscious as well with this person. It could have been something that they've already been through. Bottom line though, we're seeing them moving past that. Moving away from that and feeling like doing it with you. I'm going to grab some character trait cards. 
please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. It supports the channel and keeps keeps it going. And I'm going to just pull some character trait cards for this person and then we're going to get some initials. We've got has siblings, so this is not an only child, so some of this Five of Swords energy could actually have to do with um, siblings or unhealthy uh, relationship dynamics within their, within their family. Has enemies, see, this is what I'm talking about. They're willing, so this person might actually want to even move, like geographically move away. Older than you. We've got lazy. I didn't get at all that this person is a lazy person because, um, I mean, I guess the uh, Knight of Pentacles can be when he's in his shadow energy because he burns himself out and he gets tired. And this person, I said before, gets analysis paralysis. So maybe when they're in their planning, their planning stage and when they are experiencing like overthinking, then they come across that way. But I did not really get that from this person. See, so, yeah, neat, neat freak. So this person tends to be very tidy, very neat and things like that. So, um, anything else from that deck? No, okay. And I think, oh, initials. Some initials for group one. Creating words that will help us to understand who their next romantic partner will be, and their initials perhaps, let's see. What we've got here. That C and L. We've got Jim. And H. Okay. So pause the video, go ahead and look at these if any of these initials resonate. But we've got C L I M H N R J S R. So that could be first, middle, last initial. Okay, and so that's just for those it might resonate with. It doesn't mean that the rest of the reading is not for you if you're not seeing the initials that you expect to see. Plus, this is your next partner, so it might not, you know, you might not, not even know this person. So this is what I've got for you guys. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you. I'm going to take it to group two. Stick around if you want to. Otherwise, um, check out the playlist link down below for a different reading. Also, you can get a private reading from me. My contact information is in the description box below the video. And I'll talk to you guys next time. All right, welcome group two. So if you chose the tulip, this reading is for you, or you could have chosen from the timestamp as, time stamps as well. Who is your next romantic partner? Who's coming through to be group, group two's next romantic partner? We'll get some initials towards the end, some character traits towards the end. I was wanting to get into more about like your relationship with this person, but today's reading is more about who this person is. Okay, so we'll take a peek at how they're going to feel about you, but mostly we're going to look at what we can find out about who this person is. So for those who are watching for group two, who is their next romantic partner? We've got the moon. Interesting. So we're getting strong water sign energy. That's Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. They could have that, um, you know, strong in their chart. They don't have to. But um, the moon resonates particularly with, uh, with Pisces and Cancer. And David Bowie, I believe, was 
a Capricorn. So maybe got some Capricorn in there as well. So what is this person like? Who is this person? Okay, this is somebody that is very alluring, very attractive, very something about their eyes in particular will be alluring, captivating, like they put a spell on you kind of thing. Um, but it's something that, you know, they have a very, this is like still waters run deep, complex, deep inner world. You know, there's something about the eyes, like I said, that conveys like a deeper understanding, their overall kind of appearance, demeanor, the way they carry themselves, kind of dreamy or ethereal. So if you, if this is, if you're here for a female or a woman, then this would be somebody that wore kind of like flowing clothes that just kind of like not very structured, um, you know, soft materials kind of just float over their curves and not, like I said, not very structured. And if, if it's a man, then similarly, like similarly, they're, they're not going to be stuffy or uptight, you know, in their appearance, you know, they're going to look very comfortable, but also there's going to be something about the colors. They could be wearing like purples, blues, greens, um, soft colors, whatever they're wearing. It looks, um, it just gives them like, like you can see on the card, that moon energy. So there's something about them that just feels fluid and like there's a kind of a changing nature of their emotions. They feel like they are a mystery. They're, they're fascinating, they're elusive, they're mysterious. That's all moon energy stuff here. And so this is somebody that's gonna be very sensitive. They're gonna pick up on the things that you're not saying. They're gonna pick up on the energies of the room. They could be psychic and definitely gonna be empathetic and um, have a very strong connection to their subconscious mind. So um, whatever emotions they experience are going to be felt very deeply. This is somebody that's going to be very in tune with, you know, the feelings of themselves and other people. This is the kind of person who might have trouble um, delineating or figuring out, you know, what's their emotions versus the emotions of someone else in the room. I think that, you know, that, that's probably challenging for this person. Um, but some, some of them, they've just been like this for so long, they're used to it. But that can make them seem a little bit irritable or closed off at times, but that's just because they're having to uh, process a lot, of, a lot of energy, a lot of emotion from themselves and from those around them that they're picking up on this emotion. So this is just a very, very understanding and compassionate individual. That they are very emotionally deep. You can tell just by looking at them that there's more to, more to them than, than meets the eye. And um, they're the type of person that will notice things that other people overlook. So um, it's very Cancerian energy. With this is what I'm really picking up, nurturing, deep emotions, strong intuition, uh, caring, uh, very much caring about home and family. So that will be important to them. Um, they could have like a very tight-knit family, come from a very close family, emotionally, emotionally close um, especially, but also have a dream of living happily ever after. Like there's a real romantic side to this person, whether they express that outwardly or not. This is kind of like how this person feels inside. I'm getting like an artistic, creative vibe from this person, but they can be in any profession. Um, but they're going to be drawn to professions that allow them to really get behind, you know, what makes people tick, that kind of thing. So, um, and this is just somebody that whatever they do, I do feel like they have some sort of artistic expression. If that's not their main job, then they, they cook, they draw, they flower arrange, they, de they decorate, they garden, maybe just in the way that they dress. They like theater, they like movies, they like anything that triggers the imagination. They like things like that, okay? Um, We'll see what else comes out about this person, but this is the first energy that's coming out about them, so it's very strong. They could be in a healing profession, like nursing, they could be a doctor, they could be um, something to do with like the healing practices. And um, this person just really, they lead with their heart, is what, but you might not necessarily notice that because they, you know, are very mysterious and good at kind of like, um, I don't want to say hiding those things, but they're so deep that, you know, what lies, what lies within, you don't know, you know, they're like an onion, you have to peel it back. It's not like, it's not like the onion is hiding what it is at the core. It's just, there are layers you have to like, and it takes time, you know, you have to get there. So, um, this person's definitely going to draw you into their world of emotion and depth and mystery. So if you're not an emotional person, if you're not looking for an emotional partnership or relationship, or even if you are, this is a next level next level depth, next level mysteriousness, next level spiritual relationship or spiritual person. Um, so they're going to be like the ocean and pull you in. And, uh, you know, sometimes those emotions are stormy and that could 
um, pull you down and make you feel some kind of way or it can lift you up and make you feel like you're riding high and you're surfing those waves but just this kind of energy that's coming through here so but the good thing is that this person can you know be very comforting you know just like the sound of water can be very comforting and help put you to sleep like some people listen to the ocean waves or rain when they're trying to go to sleep like the sound machines and things like that in order to, to fall asleep more easily this person can also have a similar effect on you um, and they're gonna help you to embrace the complexities of your emotions so um, and through this relationship you are going to discover things about yourself that you didn't know and this person is going to reflect that back to you and you know offer insights about that and about your heart and about your mind and really reflect you in a way that's going to be um, very interesting to say the least so tell us more about this person that is going to be group two's next partner so much going on with this person we've got the devil energy so this person has a past for sure I'm getting Virgo energy as well as Capricorn I think I mentioned Capricorn before as well and this very much is your person's energy and is it a negative thing no I'm not getting that it is a negative thing which is hard not to take the devil as in a negative energy I know people say there's no such things as positive and negative but come on for simplicity's sake you know you, you generally don't want to see the devil come out um, in your cards okay but what this is is a highly seductive energy and it is a at the very least an obsessive energy so this is someone with whom you're probably going to have you know the best time of your life <laughs> with and then also some of the worst times um, of your life with so manifest different if you don't want that but that's what's coming through ups and downs and that includes in the bedroom so it's going to be very hot with this person as well very sexy very sensual um, very, this person is charismatic very alluring very powerful very captivating this just like emphasizes to me the moon energy that we already talked about um, this person could have very bold striking features as you can see you know with his features and then hers on the card very striking very striking not your ordinary person you know um, in their appearance so uh, maybe they have very captivating captivating eyes you know a strong jawline or a pointy nose or just like really good cheekbones or really dark dark features or just something you know that really light features that I don't know that catch that catches your attention that's a very kind of um, just alluring okay and, a, and very bold and very sensual and very confident and magnetic this person is really going to draw you in and it can be intimidating it can be overwhelming I feel a very overwhelmed energy for you guys as I'm reading this you know I have to be honest so um, so what, what we need to look out for with this person though is it you know that they um, can be manipulative they have that within them to be able to do that they can be um, excessive um, you know they will evoke strong desires in you and also like earthly pleasures the desire for the things that you know we consider earthly pleasures like sensuality food drink um, material things things of that nature and they understand like your shadow side so this person you can't avoid doing shadow work um, with this person they're gonna draw that out in you okay where you're gonna have to face certain things of your subconscious mind and it could be as simple as you know if you are a little prudish in the sack this person is going to draw you out of that and make you uh, much more comfortable with expressing like the full depths of your passion and I guess in that in that way it's a positive thing but um, it just depends on what lies beneath, what's, in, what's underneath, you know, um, because it's going to come out eventually with this person. So hopefully what's underneath isn't too scary or difficult to deal with, but this is an ambitious and very material-focused person, and they like to be in control. It's kind of like um, a dominating vibe I'm getting as well, so maybe some role play with that. It's a very sexy energy. And um, this person could be, uh, like, I'm getting Christian Grey vibes a little bit. If Christian Grey was a little bit more, um, a little bit more intuitive or creative or artistic, um, that's kind of what it is, the difference there. So, but um, this person, yeah, they could work in, like, hospitality or something like that, where, like, pleasures, uh, like, um, 
are their selling point, uh, fine wines, you know, things of that nature, culinary, just the finer things in life, the things that you don't need, but that but that you want and that you can easily you know fall in the trap of old overindulging in if if you're not uh, conscientious about it this person could be a peddler of some of those things um, they definitely will you know be somebody of influence and they're probably you know competitive this probably might this person might gamble or just they're not afraid to take a risk and they do they do care about the material. So I think this is a good balance though because we've got the moon which is very ethereal, otherworldly, emotional, psychic, intuitive, and then we've got the devil which is very grounded, very materialistic, 3D focused, okay? So it's it's a bit of a double-edged sword I've got to be honest because this person is going to make you if you're not a materialistic person they're gonna make you feel more materialistic they're gonna introduce you to or amplify the physical pleasures but also you know that can make you feel like um, you know it makes you wary it makes you a little nervous or it makes you a little concerned that maybe you know you're overindulging or they're overindulging or maybe they're a bad influence or something like that um, but again, their presence in your life is to be a powerful mirror for you to reflect your own vulnerabilities and acknowledge um, your your desires. It's gonna, this person's going to reflect your unacknowledged desires and um, challenge you in that way, and to kind of like make you look at you know how do you really feel about temptation and materialism in your own life. It's this person's going to um, make you define those things in a way that maybe you, you need to define them because they're attracted to you for some reason, like you're aligning with this person for some reason. So it's to confront some things that you um, might not understand what your deeper motives are. And so it's kind of interesting. So what kind of actions does this person take or will they take? Like, What does this person do? Because we kind of saw, saw that this person is like in leadership positions and things like that. and creative fields but also it could be corporate fields as well because they are materially minded <clears throat> like what is about how does this person behave I guess is the question of the two of wands so if you were drawn to if you were drawn to group one you might want to check out group one as well because that, I think this card came out from a different deck in that group as well we got the chariot at the bottom of the deck and the two of wands is like the uh, chariot it's kind of like the chariot energy is like the un um, unevolved chariot energy so this person they're an action taker <laughs> they're very determined okay and they make things happen and they go after what they want and they're single-minded in their focus and it doesn't matter how hard something is they're gonna do it anyway if they want to do it it's like they pride themselves on their determination and their ability to make hard things you know their ability to make make hard things happen to overcome to um, to fight even so this could be somebody that you know if you're a strong personality you're gonna bump heads with because there can't there can't be too many cooks in the kitchen you know somebody has to take the back seat sometimes and this person feels very um, driven and very focused and um, sometimes like they will put their own interests ahead of the relationship or ahead of yours so this person is somebody that will I think they know their tendencies and like I said there is a dichotomy or two sides to to their personality with the sensual and feminine moon energy and the stricter Saturnian energy of the devil it feels like this person um, does a lot to weigh their options and consider like the future the outcome if I do a what's gonna happen versus if I do B, that kind of thing so they're gonna really weigh the pros and cons of any new relationship they're not just gonna jump into it which is good so this person is it is reassuring to see the two of wands and the chariot to know that in that sense this person will weigh their options and not just fall into something haphazardly simply out of lust or because they're letting their desires or you know get the better of them at least I thought that's not gonna be the whole reason okay they, this person is going to be thinking about their long-term and does think about the, their long-term goals their investments their ambitions the best way to achieve them um, this is somebody that will take their time you know 
they're not it, the chariot is a very determined energy and so is the two of wands but it's not like in a rush you know because the chariot is heavy and on the original card it, the chariot is made of concrete so it's like not going anywhere very fast it's going to take a lot of effort to get it moving forward and to get it to where it needs to be but this is somebody that is willing to do that and has the strength to do that believes in themselves enough to to really apply themselves in that way make you know hard things happen like i said before like um take on those hard accomplishments and make it work and and do it and do the thing so this is um yeah, somebody's very much like that, and it's like very strategic as well, very future-oriented, and they're always kind of like strategizing about their future and about how to get what they want and about, um, again, like I said, the pros and cons and making things happen. So how is this person going to feel about the viewer? of wands wow so this person's going to feel the four of wands okay they're, they're gonna feel like taking it forward with you um, that you are someone that they can be committed to so you can move in together with this person or they're gonna feel like moving in together with you they're gonna feel like you are a celebration it's fun and it's celebratory whenever you're around they're gonna feel like you're somebody that they can bring their friends around happily and that they want you to be a part of their life, part of their home. They're gonna feel good when they're with you. Um, this is someone, they're gonna feel like they can have that strong future with you, that strong foundation with you. And you're also like the break in the storm of their life. You're like the eye of the storm. Because they're always making things happen. And when you come in, the card of the Four of Wands is like a refuge, it's like peace. And so you bring that peace to this person, you're gonna make them feel peaceful. It'll feel like they've come home to a family member, you're gonna feel like that to them. You could meet them at a reunion or some other party or festivity or through family members. But um, this is a card of engagement, marriages. You could end up marrying this person or they could feel like marrying you. They're gonna feel like that. Um, this person's going to feel that, you know, this relationship has a lot of potential. And they're gonna feel like you guys get along, you click, you vibe, and that you fit into their long-term future. And they just, they feel like too though, again, they're not gonna be rushing, they're gonna feel excited about you, but they're not gonna rush, they're gonna be controlled. And um, they'll let this develop over time. But they're gonna to wanna to celebrate life with you, like all of life. They're gonna include you in all areas of life. And um, they are just gonna feel like getting the relationship to a very happy place and making you feel stable. And feeling stable is important to this person as well. That's why they're so focused on the material and doing all the things that they're trying to do to get ahead in life because they, they need to feel stable, they want to feel stable, and, and they want to feel stable with you. So um, they're gonna feel though with you that you know, things are harmonious and they're gonna wanna move this to the next level. And um, you know, it, hopefully you're gonna be on the same page with this person because that's how they're gonna feel they're gonna feel very secure with you and that you are the other half to them even you know gotta watch out for that codependent energy with that devil but they're gonna feel like you complete them they're excited to celebrate the future with you they um, feel very strongly about you this is someone that just feels like you're their other half and so they're really interested in um, commitment and you know engagement even marriage even just a long-term future that's how they feel or are going to feel about you so what is the big message from spirit that group two needs to know about this got the knight of pentacles okay so this is the Knight of Pentacles coming in. For some of you, this is someone else other than this person. So you might be dealing with an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It seems like you have a pattern. You must like earth signs, okay? Because we've got, uh, I already said that for some of you, this person's a water sign, has that strong in their chart, chart or are an earth sign as well. But I'm also feeling for some of you that this is another, another person too. Um, for those of you that this is a newer connection, this is talking about your person of interest. And, or this person here, the one that I've just like, described, which I think is a good sign because 
um, it goes along with what I just said about the four the four of wands about how this person has will have some stable intentions towards you and that's very much in alignment with the knight of pentacles we're getting strong Virgo energy here as well so this is a well-off man a devoted man or woman depending on who you're here for most who are here for for a man so this is an earthy person a constant person this is um, Somebody that's got a good control and a good head over them, head over a good head on their shoulders and good control over themselves is what I'm trying to say. So um, this is somebody that is just uh, they're steadfast. So if you're looking for something else, something more exciting or dramatic, you know, this isn't really that person. Like I do see this person as being, because we're dealing with two different people. One person is the one that I described, and this isn't a manifestation of them going forward in the future as being more of a stable person in alignment with the Four of Wands. Others of you, you know, there's somebody here that has some of these really good qualities, but they're kind of like walking that line of being on the dark side in terms of getting sucked into things that maybe are not the healthiest, and they could be kind of in temptation in a way that you need to be a little bit cautious about, a little bit more cautious about. And then there's this guy who is like the type to give you the shirt off his back. So it depends on who I'm reading for. If this was a private reading, I'd be able to tell you, you know, who is who. But to keep it simple, bottom line is that in your future, we've got somebody that you were going to feel is a total catch and your mom's going to be very pleased. Okay. Um, this is a very calm, tranquil, secure person. They're going to be an abundant person doing well for themselves financially and, and are on the road of becoming even more financially stable and secure and abundant. So um, this, isn't a, this is a thoughtful and attentive person with whom you're going to have a great time. So that's looking good for you guys. So if this is resonating, please hit the like button and subscribe. It supports the channel and helps to keep it going. And I'm going to get you some traits about this person. Tell us more about group two's person, the one that's coming in exactly straight laced. Average height. Good sense of humor. And volunteer helpful. Okay. <clears throat> So those all like correlate with what I've already said, already said, especially with the Knight of Coins there as well. Um, let's see. Let's get some initials for Group Two. Get some others falling out here. Whatever words you can make, go ahead and make them. Whatever resonates, these can be first, middle, and last, and or last initials. We've got Nate. We've got IOU. Hmm. Somebody with whom you have karma, perhaps, or somebody that's going to borrow something, or something to do with a loan. We've got Tay. Somebody could be named Tay. We've got tiger. I definitely think this person is a tiger in the bedroom. I really feel like that devil energy is primarily talking about, you know, that this uh, combined with the uh, the moon energy, this person is going to be like otherworldly in the sack. It's going to be like a spiritual experience, but a little bit kind of like kinkster and there's <laughs> some other things going on that we're not going to get too deep into here on YouTube. Um, but um, I feel like that's the main message with that today. So, um... If this is all I've got for you guys. I'm taking it to group three. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you. Please hit the like button and subscribe. And if you'd like a private reading, my contact information is in the description box. And I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for tuning in.
Welcome group three. Thanks for tuning into your reading. So, who is the next person you're gonna be in a romantic relationship with? Let's go ahead and look at that. We'll get some initials towards the end. We're gonna look at this person, traits about them. And I'll be right back. Sorry about the interruption, group three. I think I was just shoveling. <laughs> shoveling, wasn't I? I had to take a private client. So I don't know if we got started or we didn't get started. I'll have to edit it out if we did get started because we're getting started right now. So we're going to look at your future person and who they are, okay? The next person you're going to have a romantic relationship with. Who is the next person group is going to have a romantic relationship with? Wow, okay, we've got 10 of pentacles. We've got a very hardworking individual, somebody that family is very important to them. You could meet them through family, through work, business, you could end up working together or having a business with this person. Money and finances is going to be important in this relationship. They could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They could be older than you, but um, if not, then there is maybe a patriarch or a masculine energy who has a big influence over the relationship. Somebody in the family, perhaps. Maybe your dad, grandpa, theirs, but that's what's coming through as well with that. This is definitely an energy of um, legacy, somebody that's focused on that. They could be well off, they could be wealthy. They could be inheriting, inheriting money as well. But when we see the Ten of Pentacles as a person, what we know right away is that this person is abundant financially and materially, resourcefully speaking. And that this is a good place to be for anyone really, especially in today's world. Like financial stability is very important to a relationship, but it also can, you know, create some problems when, you know, family members are involved and there's necessary relationships that need to be handled or dealt with. And it can also mean that, you know, there's not much of an emotional connection, but we'll look more into it to see, um, you know, what comes out for the rest of the relationship, like for the rest of the reading. But physically, this person is going to look like they're they look like they have money and not like new money not nouveau riche but they look like old money whether they've got it or not this is how they appear okay and I do feel like they I mean it's ten of pentacles <laughs> this person um, is materially well off and they're certainly gonna look that way um, respectable established um, they have an affluent background you know their overall appearance is gonna look like wealth and tradition look like money you know and probably somebody that likes classic styles you know that not not so trendy not very trendy but likes likes classic styles you know that really show a timeless a timelessness and kind of like a lastingness right they like things that stand the, te the test of time like they would be um, happier to buy something that's more expensive um, that's gonna last like sh years if not their whole life than to keep up on trends that this is the kind of person you know that they are timelessness is is the way that this person will appear and they definitely come across confident composed you know um, they come across like a rich person like a wealthy person somebody that is um, secure in their position in life and I mentioned emotionality um, I think this person's parents or, or tradition or legacy is going to influence how they feel and how they think and how they interact and this is some so this is somebody that um, is really focused on family values, legacy, uh, the continuation of success through generations. If they have inherited a family business, for example, or just inherited a certain way of thinking and doing things, then they're going to want to keep that going, you know, year after year. Like they're going to take that seriously. And this is somebody that probably feels like a heavy sense of responsibility towards their family and their community. And they're really going to want to like preserve and grow, you know, their legacy as part of that. So very, they could have taken on the role of the man of the house very early in their life or the woman of the house, depending on who you're here for. And so really have instilled in them a very strong sense of responsibility, could be the provider for other family members as well. So um, that's where I said there could be some interpersonal politics going on where people are having to navigate relationships um, carefully and not step on anybody's toes and it can get a little tricky and sticky you know with those kind of relationships if you end up for example marrying this person you know it's gonna be like okay 
um, we're sending them money again or we're giving them, you know what I mean, kind of thing. Like, I want to help them, but are they taking advantage of us? Or, you know, blah, blah, blah. Just stuff like that. Anyway, um, what else is coming through with this? Um, it is an admirable trait, you know, that this person does take thing, like take responsibility and care for those that they care for. And this person does take a like big pride in their heritage and where they come from and they are committed to, you know, passing on their values to other people, like to their children, if they have, you guys have children or if they have children and just whoever they influence, if they're like a mentor, if they don't have children and they are like a mentor, then they're going to take a lot of pride in passing on the lessons that they learn, for example, to, to young people or those around them, whoever, even you perhaps, you know? So I've got to take this, I'll be right back. Sorry for the interruption, guys. Okay. So anyway, what was I saying about this Ten of Pentacles person that's coming into your life? That this is just somebody that values, oh, that they're kind of a mentor. Like, they want to teach, you know, what they know and their values that they were raised with to the people around them. And especially anybody that's younger than them, younger than them coming up behind them you know so that the legacy that they want to leave continues on that kind of thing so this is very earthy energy a very like materially focused person and this is just a very practical reliable person and they could likely work in you know finance business or kind of like any sort of you know field where you know tradition and wealth plays a, like an important role and um, they could be like um, an accounts manager or somebody that deals, like I said, in finance, you know, some in what, some way, shape or form, they're going to be involved in building and preserving their wealth. It's just not about earning it, but it's about wealth management for them as well. So, and it's not just for themselves, but it's for those who are connected to them. So they probably, whatever they do, they would choose a job that would put them in a position to be able to do that, you know, to be responsible, to take care of those around them, to, you know, leave something behind when they pass, that kind of thing. Thinking very, very long term. So they do, they want to maintain what they have and they want to grow their family's assets and they want to contribute to the stability and prosperity of everyone in their community. So that includes their family, their friends, the people in their like com community, their vicinity. This branches out. So they've got a lot of people around, okay? And the more people that they're in the mix, you know, the more potential for, you know, things to be, I don't know, uh, a little bit... Um, I don't want to say testy or tricky, but there's just a lot of, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I think, I think if you know what I'm trying to say, you know what I'm trying to say. Um, political, okay? In that sense. In that sense. Not in a, whatever. So anyway, moving on. Um, if you're not a particularly traditional family-oriented person, then this person's definitely going to inspire that in you. And this person, their plans for the long term are going to include you as well. And they, I mean, if you are um, not like them, then the relationship may not work because this is somebody that is very established in their traditions. They're not likely to change. So um, this person is somebody that will inspire respect in you, especially for, you know, how they've conducted themselves in their past leading up to, you know, their commitment to their future and how they engage with those in their community and the way they want to take care of people and be a role model for people, especially in a material and a worldly sense. Um, so in that, you know, in that sense, it's good stuff, right? So, um, but this is somebody that's definitely going to like, um, help you get your stuff together. If you, if you don't have your stuff together, this person is going to help you get your stuff together and they're going to expect you to, um, Kind of fall in line with um, the way that they do things as well okay especially again materially speaking and with regard to um, family and the community and the role that everybody plays in contributing to the can like the continuing or the can uh, what do you say the continuity continuing the continuity and the continuation of the family and the traditions so let's go ahead and oh well, that's the card we're looking for. I was like, is this person just kind of, is that all there is to them? Because, you know, I already, I don't know. <laughs> I 
this reading is not about me, but if it was, I'd be like, I already have a boss. Okay, um, that's me. The Knight of Cups, so there's more to this person than that. What else about this person? This person does have a romantic heart, and there is something romantic about this person. So when it comes to romance, they are going to be romantic. They're not just going to be all dry Ten of Pentacles, which, you know, I'm not mad at the Ten of Pentacles overall, but you do, in a love relationship, you want to see some emotion. You want to see, you know, a bit about how this person is going to interact with you in a romantic sense and as a romantic partner, because that's what this reading is about, a romantic partner. So this person could have strong water and earth in their chart. Um... And hopefully just enough, you know, water to uh, kind of warm them up and make them a little bit more emotionally available. And the Knight of Cups is someone that is very charming and attractive. So this person will be charming and attractive too. Um, there is something of mystery and like a little bit artistic flair. So it feels like when this person is off the clock, you know, when it's just the two of you on a date night, then they can show a little bit more artistic flair in the way that they dress. Um, just a smidge. They would never be tacky or anything like that because that's just not their style. But um, they would show like a little bit of, you know, let their hair down kind of thing. And um, there is a real kind of romantic inclination that this person has. Um, in general like a romantic heart inside and this is somebody that is kind of like especially I'm getting this like in terms of dating you and when going like when you're going out on dates and things like that um, which to this person I can imagine this to be the type of person that's like okay Friday night is date night you know we have to have a routine of Friday night is when we go and we have our date and on that night I'm romantic you know that kind of thing even that would be kind of you know scheduled but um, they're good at it, you know, when they are romantic. And this is somebody that is very uh, eye-catching and attractive. They're this kind of person that, you know, probably the waiter or the waitress would flirt with. Or, you know, this is kind of somebody that gets attention because they are attractive. And there is something about, like, in those moments that they feel like that you look at them and they look like somebody that has deep feeling. You look at they look as look like somebody that is creative has a creative spirit there's something about them that does make them stand out um, in the crowd okay so I'm definitely getting some strong Piscean energy with this but it could be any of the water signs and I think that this person um, you know, getting they have this artistic flair to them they could even make a good counselor as well um, but they probably have hobbies. This feels more like a hobby where they would creatively express themselves, whether that is through design, through um, woodworking is coming up for some reason, uh, sculpture, music, dancing, um, gardening, just sports. Nothing too intensive or aggressive, um, but more of something that allows them to use their creative mind and to do it in a way that they can connect to others. This person feels like they're quite social, you know, partially or mostly social due to their responsibilities that they feel that they have to other people, but um, also because when they're dating and when they're dating you, then they can make conversation with the other people that are around you, with other couples or, you know, with the wait staff or whoever, you know, they have that um, charmingness about them. So, um, they can be creative like that as well, like have a conversation about different things, not just, you know, their business or stuff like that. So this person does have like a passion for the arts and they, they feel like there is a place for the arts and things like that. So if you are a more artsy person or if you're different or the opposite of this person, this person and you connect for a reason because they do have a, an appreciation for beauty and emotional connection. It's just that, um, they are kind of programmed to be in this Ten of Pentacles energy more so. But, um, so, and I think you're probably quite beautiful or attractive, or this person at least is going to really feel like you're beautiful and attractive because they have an eye for beauty. And I think this person is um, going to be inspirational, you know, in their own way regarding um, inspiring like romantic and artistic and creative emotions and dreams and daydreams within you. Because this is how they are too. You know, that's another, this is another facet to their personality. And this person's also encouraging and they're going to be pushing you not only to do well for yourself, get your stuff together and keep your stuff together in a material sense, in a worldly sense, but also when it comes to reaching your own emotional depths and, you know, embracing your creative potential. If you have any kind of artistic or creative potential, this person is going to nurture that. They're going to be encouraging of that. And when it comes to your feelings, 
they're going to want to nurture those as well. So these are all, you know, good things to have in a future partner. So um, I think that you're going to learn and grow a lot um, regarding this person. At least those around them kind of go through a phase of self-discovery and emotional expression inspired by this person. So let's go ahead and... So what does this person do or what will they be doing? What do they like to do? That kind of thing. Let's look into that. I mean, if the reading is resonating and you, you like this kind of reading, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. It does support the channel and helps to keep it going. And I appreciate it. If you'd like a private reading, my contact information is in the description box below the video. Okay, this one's kind of coming out. I'll take this one. So like, what does this person do? Well, they focus on their family, their community, the people they care about, Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck. With the um, Queen of Cups there, this person focuses on keeping it moving and keeping it positive. Like, they reflect on their feelings a lot. This is somebody that's well-established in life. I don't feel like this person has to hustle a lot, or maybe they did in their younger life or something. Um, but maybe they just, I don't get that energy from them. I feel like this is somebody, because see, he's seated and... You know, she's seated and he's seated. Well, this kind of came out this way when it first came out. And then we see, you know, this couple is standing. So, I mean, this person does stand, you know, when they have to, like to um, show respect, for example, to a family elder or to their boss or something like that. Like they perform when they need to, but this person comes across as being more relaxed and like they're in a place in life where they can be more, more relaxed. And so when I ask about like what kind of actions this person um, takes, it just shows somebody that is very nurturing. So that's the, these are the actions. And remember what I was saying about this person with the Knight of Cups, wanting to nurture you, your creativity, your um, emotions, your self-expression. That's what this person will do. They're, they're going to show compassion towards you. They're going to... Um, uh, trust you, um, your intuitive insights, trusting their own intuitive insights with this Queen of Cups energy. This person, a lot of their actions are turned inward, like emotionally speaking, they're introspective, they dive into their own emotions. This is So this is again like a good thing because when we see the Ten of Pentacles, we always wanna know, is it gonna be a cold relationship, a secure but cold relationship? No, it's gonna be secure and it's going to be emotionally connected as well with, with these water sign cards here. So um, this is somebody that has emotions, that looks within, they're empathetic. This person is connected to others, not only in a financial and uh, practical way, but in a, um, an emotional way as well. So in a deep level too, probably deeper than most people are connected. So um, it's very the, like, what does this person do? Provides like understanding and emotional support to other people and the people they care about. And in a relationship, the same, they're the same way. They're going to be that way with you, um, understanding, open-hearted. Um, they're going to allow their emotions to take the lead. Like This person's going to listen to their heart when it comes to you, which is refreshing because a lot of times we don't see that um, in reading. So it's good to see that here, that this person, um, that's going to be your next romantic partner is going to um, you know, follow their heart and allow you to follow your heart as well. And this is a very... Um, empathetic person and just um, a very supportive person especially emotionally speaking and they have a lot of practice at that because that's what they do so this person even if there is some baggage from the past you know they they approach that with compassion and understanding and their intuition serves them well because it helps them to navigate such things and this person will be encouraging of you to, you know, be be gentle with yourself as this person is gentle with themselves. Um, if you're ever hard on yourself, this person's going to encourage you to be gentle with yourself and they're gonna be gentle with you. And so it's really a nice energy and I'm really I'm really enjoying this energy. It's kind of a nice shift, it kind of it's kind of a nice change for the rest of the reading. Um, in the previous reading. So uh, this person's got a healing presence, it's very calming, healing, very, very, very kind. Um, any kind of unresolved issues that you might have or they might have, um, they're really just going to navigate that with compassion and intuition and, um, 
and, and as a result of that, you know, as a result of that, people are healing. So this is, again, just a healing relationship. And, like, whatever challenges that you might face, this person's energy is very nurturing. And they're going to look within for the answers. And they're going to going to let their uh, feelings and their intuitions be their guide. So um, they're going to trust their gut and make decisions, you know, based on that as well as on practical matters. But when it comes to love and uh, matters of the heart, this person um, isn't only going to let, you know, the responsibilities dictate, you know, what they decide or what they do. They're instead going to look at their, their heart, including their romantic feelings, and decide um, based on those, you know. That's going to be that's going to weigh in slightly more than the practical concerns, which is a good thing, right? And in matters of the heart, um, you want to know that you know the person you've given your heart to is somebody that's going to, when when push comes to shove, is going to put you first, you know, above everything else. I mean, other things can be important too, but when it come when push comes to shove, you know they've got to put you first and um, consider like the emotional connection above you know, everything else. So we're seeing that and let's get, what is the outcome or the big message from spirit that spirit wants the viewer to know? All right, who is this? The Knight of Swords, oh my. All right, so this is a side of your person. Oh my goodness. Can you guys ever come here with uncomplicated people? <laughs> I'm kind of kidding. Um, because the Knight of Swords is, uh, this person probably is action oriented as well. But this is talking about, you know, what you need to know going forward here in this um, connection and what Spirit wants you to know. It could even be talking about your energy if you are air sign or air sign dominant. So what do we think of when we think of the the Knight of Swords? We think of action. <laughs> we think of adventure. Um, we think of being swept off our feet, that kind of thing. And so when you meet this person, it's likely to happen unexpectedly, impulsively. Um, this could be somebody that you maybe um, have been wanting for a while. Yes or no, yes or no. Yeah, some of you, and it's like you're really driven to have this person, in which case this card always asks, you know, um, do you just want this person because they're a challenge? And if so, then, you know, you know, you want to reflect on that? Is that really a good reason? But um, the Knight of Swords, I guess we could say just bottom line with this being in the outcome and everything is that Um, I feel like this is the viewer's energy, but it could be vice versa or interchangeable because it is a general reading. But somebody here will just say that doesn't suffer fools lightly, um, can be high maintenance as a result of that, is very sexy, smart, and, and but also very intense. And as a result of that, you know, this person, I mean, maybe this is the way you're going to be. <laughs> know who this person is um because your person comes across as the ten of pentacles and the queen of cups i mean you could be the queen of cups but i'll let you decide and the knight of knight of cups um and then we've got here um this knight of swords which is a bit frosty so um maybe there is going to be some sort of an issue here it's maybe you're going to be the one regardless of your sign that's going to come in and kind of disrupt the status quo like um sweep this person off their feet you know get swept up and maybe make them feel a little bit out of, a little bit out of control make yourself feel a little bit out of control um but i feel like you know you both are going to sweep each other up so you just want to hold on to your hat something's going to happen that's going to get very exciting very soon here you could be meeting this person very soon or if you already know them it's gonna get very exciting very soon and this is a warning against being you know too harsh or too judgmental um, and it's also a guide to make a decision about something as well so if for example you know who this person is you need to make a decision about what you want to do about it because if not this could die on the vine and we see that you know this is the next person you're gonna be in a relationship with so it doesn't mean that you won't be together but it does mean that, you know, it will just be better 
if you make that decision soon, okay? And it can indicate that, you know, just bottom line, something exciting is going to happen here. So I'm going to get some character traits about this person. This is somebody coming in and disrupting the status quo. Okay, this person is outgoing, got red hair. Expert in their field. That's way too many, so I'm gonna put them all away. I'll take that one. Quirky and eccentric. Okay, so look out for somebody that's outgoing, potentially has red hair, strawberry blonde perhaps, or red um, streaks in their hair, something to do with red hair and red hair, and then expert in, in their field and quirky and eccentric. You know, that's what they say about rich people. They say that um, poor people are weird and rich people are eccentric. So <laughs> this person um, has money. Um, and then we'll get some uh, initials. is going to be group three's next romantic partner. If an N, an I, an X. This could be an X for some of you, but it would be somebody from a long time ago is what it feels like. This person could be a vegan or you could be. So we've got N-I-O-T-U-Z-E-G-A-B. So those could be first, middle, or last initials. But anyway, this is what I've got for you guys. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. If the reading didn't resonate, please feel free to choose another reading from one of the playlists linked down below. Otherwise, I will talk to you guys next time. Thanks for watching.